There's one, dude. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a really nice one. What's up, you guys? What is good? Welcome back to the channel. So, creek striper fishing. It is that time of year. It is one of the greatest times of the year and one of my personal favorite times of the year when we get to go after striped bass when they come up in the creeks off of the uh, Delaware Bay. And we're going to be hitting one of those creeks today and hopefully trying to get on some big stripers. Every fall this happens, they come up in these little creeks. Big, big fish that you wouldn't expect to be there are there right now, and they're gonna be there through like the end of October probably. So we're gonna be out there a lot targeting them this fall, and as they come up in there, they're very hungry, and they're feeding on just about anything. You can catch them on a lot of different kinds of baits. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be getting out there today. First like full length video, hopefully, this year of like actually targeting these fish. And I hope you guys enjoy the ride. Hopefully we can get on them. Let's get after it, let's go. All right, everybody, let's get after it today. Hoping we can make a big video out of this instead of just a couple of shorts or something. Because uh, every time we've been down here so far this year, we've just caught like one or two fish, but I'm waiting for that day when we catch a bunch of stripers out of here and I'm hoping today is that day. Got a jerk bait tied on and we're ready to go. It's high tide right now. Got my boots on so we can walk out on the rocks, but we're just gonna cast a lot parallel to the rocks like that with the jerk bait and see if we can't pull any out of here. They should be up in here right now. Water's still kind of like green and stained, but they should be able to find this bait pretty good. Just got to bite a couple of times. A few times, man. They were tagging it. I think it was a smaller striper. Hit it like three times over there. It's a good sign. It means they're here. Obviously, we want the bigger ones, but just knowing that they're here, it gives me a little bit extra confidence, you know? Ah, shoot, just had one. That was definitely one. I don't know how he got off, right there in the rapids. Seemed like a decent one. There he is. There we go. Good striper. Good striper, dude. There he is, man. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a really nice one. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Get up on here. Woo! That is a quality fish. Don't get away. Don't get away. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. That is a beauty, man. That might be like a hybrid. Let me know down in the comments below. Because this thing is not like long and skinny like a regular striper. It's short and fat. And it might be like one of those hybrid stripers. I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. But that's a real quality fish, man. And he hit it like the cast before. And then he hit it again. And he didn't miss it that time. That's a beautiful fish. Heck yeah. We're going to catch some this year that are bigger than this one. But... That is a heck of a start. That's my second one this year, and it's a real good one. God dang it. He got away. <laughs> I was going to try to take some more pictures with him and stuff, but I'll just have to catch another one. That always happens to me. I don't know why. I think I got a good grip on him, but then they just splash away. Friggin' soaked the heck out of me, too. It's nasty water all up on me. Oh, well. Got a good striper. No cool picture, but it is what it is. At least you guys got to see him on video. This is literally like some of the most disgusting water in the entire state. I feel like I need a shower even though I just got one. All right, let's get back in there, see if we can find some more. 
I know there's more than just one down in there because I was getting plenty of bites before. And then with the tide coming in, there should be a lot of fish coming up in here. There's another one, dude. Same exact spot. Ah, oh, shoot, he flipped off. That sucks. But he was right in the same exact spot as the last one. Look what he did to the hook. He bent out the hook on my jerk bait. Look at that. That's unreal. Seemed like another quality fish. You guys see that right there? It's weird. These fish are strong. I don't even have pliers with me, I don't think so. I'm gonna try to bend this hook back with my hand. I don't want to lose a big fish because of these weak hooks, but uh, I think I kind of bent them into place a little bit. Fish are active right now though. I mean, we've had a ton of bites. Only landed the one, but we've had a couple get off now. Definitely seems to be some good numbers up in here though. What I love about this kind of fishing is it's in a tidal body of water. So this is a tidal river. And every time I come here, oh, there's another one, dude. But he popped off. These hooks really suck. But what I was saying is uh, it's a tidal body of water. So every time you come to this spot or another one like it, you're getting different fish up in here every time. So most likely they've never seen the lures before and they're gonna bite. I might need to switch lures though because these hooks are trash. Losing way too many fish right now. There's one, dude. There's one. Oh, that's a largemouth. Getting back to back, different species of bass right here. He was sitting right in the falls just like the stripers would. I saw him eat it too, he came right on out of there. Just popped it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change. He bent the hook out again too, just like the uh, striper did. But quality little largemouth bass right there. Not the intended species, but still fun to catch them, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and switch up from this lure. All right, so here's what I tied on right here. Different lure, similar style, but this is a little bit bigger. This is a Strike Pro Jumper 110 jerk bait. And it's one of my favorite jerk baits to throw for stripers. It's actually, it's pretty much brand new. I bought it last year. Only used it a couple times, so the hooks are really good on it, hopefully. And so when we get these bites now, hopefully we don't lose these fish like we have been. There's one, there's one little guy, but that's like the second cast on the Strike Pro. There's a lot of stripers in here right now. These hooks definitely performed a little bit better than those other ones that we had been using. This guy was not coming off in a million years. He got hooked pretty well. All right. That's just a regular striper right there. I don't know what that other one was, if it was a hybrid or whatever, but this one's just a pure striper, so. Cool to see that. We're gonna let him go right down in here. And I guess it was a good decision to switch over to this jerk bait. Sweet. Let's get back at it. I'm going to the gym right after this and I'm gonna go in there smelling like fish, but it's all right. It's a good thing right now. One of the most fun parts about catching stripers is just how hard they bite. Like when you get a bite from a striper, you know it's a striper, especially the big ones. They just take it and they run. Ah. Wait a second. Is there a fish on there? I, dude, I have a fish, but it's snagged. Look at my rod, okay? I have a fish, 100%. I see it splashing around over there. Okay, it just came out. I think, yeah. I definitely got him. That is so weird. Is that a bass or a striper? That's a regular largemouth. 
Look how he ate that jerk bait too. There he goes, flopping off. Guess the hooks aren't that good, but uh, that was so weird, dude. He bit it and then he got snagged, but I still got him in, kinda. 